Okay, my son, this is the last example in uh, thermal uh, heat transfer uh, by conduction. This, uh, this is actually is a conceptual question. There are no calculations here, okay? It shows you you have five different materials with five different Ks, okay? And it's showing you the, uh, the temperature at the, at the junctions. And it's telling you that this is, uh, this is a steady state, okay? So the temperature of the hot reservoir here is 28, and the cold reservoir is minus 2. And these are, as you can see, temperature is decreasing as you move to the right. Eh? 24, 17, 14, 5, and minus 2. And this temperature, they have to do something with, with, the, with the thermal conductivity of the material which is there, okay? Now, it's asking about, first of all, all of them, they have the same cross-section area and same length. So the length are the same in all materials and the same cross-section area A. And we are in the steady state. Which means, as a function of time, this temperature is not changing. And this is not changing, okay, so this state. Which slab has the largest thermal conductivity? He's looking for K, K, largest, the largest K among these five materials. Okay, so let's write P. P1. P1 will be for this guy here, okay? That's K1, okay? Cross-section area, cross area then delta T, 4. You agree? 4, four C degree, by the way. Yeah? Delta T will be C degree. Remember, degree, on, uh, degree C will be for, uh, for temperature, and C degree will be for delta T, okay? Over L, okay? Equal, because we are steady state, okay? K2, same area, delta T for these two. How much is delta T here? 3 plus 4 uh, is se uh, 7. C degree over L equal K3. You keep doing this, okay? Area, how much is delta T here? 17, uh, this is 3. C degree over L equal K4, okay? Area, the area is the same and the length is the same in all of them. What is delta T here? It is uh, at 5 plus 4, that's 9. 9 C degree over L equal k5 a delta t here will be 5 minus minus 2 that's 7 okay c degree over l now notice that uh, l and a are the same in all of them and what do you think will be the answer he's asking about the largest thermal conductivity of course if these two all of them are equal the the lowest Delta T will give me the highest K because the products should be the same in all of them. So what, what is the lowest, the lowest delta T? The lowest delta T is this number here. Eh? So this will be uh, the highest. This will be the highest K, okay? Highest thermal conductivity. Highest. Okay? That's the highest thermal conductivity. So the answer is what? The answer will be slab number three. Okay, that's the end of the question, but now, now if we ask the opposite, we want the, 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 the smallest k, the smallest k. That's the highest k because delta t is small, the smallest delta t. Now if you want the opposite, you want the, the smallest k, you go to highest delta t. The highest delta t is here, so this will be the, the smallest, smallest k, okay? Here highest k, okay? Uh, this will close uh, uh, the problems regarding thermal uh, heat transfer by conduction. Thank you.